Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and this video is just a extra video that's kind of a tag along with the one that was just uploaded today. So earlier today, I talked about a brand new application that's made by Samsung, and it's called Theme Park. Now you can get Theme Park that is inside of Goodlock, and it's right here, it's brand new, it just got launched. You can also go inside of your normal Galaxy Essentials, and you can search for Theme Park. The only thing is that if you're running Android 10, and if you don't already have Goodlock, you won't be able to get it. Uh, so luckily my phone already had Goodlock before Android 10 came, because this is just not made for Android 10 yet. But anyways, Theme Park is the way you're able to create your own themes. So check this out. This is one that I've already created. If I go inside of themes and then I click on my little person and I go to the themes that I used, I've created, you can see that this one was one I made and I called it fall. This one is called Spidey Red. Uh, and so really kind of how it all is gonna look here uh, inside of messaging, your phone dialer, your settings, things like that, you can see some of the different changes. So this is how I personally have mine set up. So how Theme Park works is let's say we go inside of Goodlock, you go inside of Theme Park, right over here in the bottom, you design your own theme. Now it's all based on the image that you use. So for example, let's say that we move to uh, this one over here, which is Spidey. This was how I created mine. And the main color of choice is what changes all of the styles. So for example, if you go to this one here and then you go to style, you can see how it's gonna change some of these colors. So you can see this one has blue and then some rosy colors over there. Now, if I click on this one over here, click on style, it's gonna be changing a little bit. So how this one was set up was I have a red background. I went over to this dark option here. I clicked on style. And then I went to this one right here. So this way it's able to change the colors. Everything is dark uh, and then also a little bit of blacks and reds. And so I chose this one right there because I want some of the text to be white. I also want a couple different areas inside of let's say text messaging to have different colors of red. So here's a dark red and then a brighter red. So you can see there, that's how it all contrasts with the background being black. So that's kind of how it's set up. If you want it to look different, <laughs> you can do that one. Uh, but this is kind of how mine is set up. If you want to get a closer look of exactly what it looks like, you can click on this icon here. And then once you are done, click on save. You want to create a name of this theme to install it into your theme store. So I'm just going to call this one uh, Spidey2 only because I already have one that I love. Uh, and this one will just be deleted right after this video. So once this one installs into your theme stores, then you want to click on it and then you want to hit apply. And then once you hit apply, then what I did was I changed my background after it was done. And once the theme is applied and you're back at your home screen, all I did was I press and held. I went right over into wallpapers. Um, I'm going to choose a different wallpaper because I am a pretty big fan of this one right over here. I'm going to use this one for my home screen. And then once this one's done, I'm gonna hit on save, go back to the top. I'm gonna go back to this little video. I'm gonna use it as my lock screen. And then this way I have back my normal wallpapers that I'm using, but my theme is still in place. So I use a wallpaper to create the theme I want it to look like. Everything is customized by me. And then I went back and I changed my wallpaper back to the way it was. Now, the one thing I do want to mention to make yours look a little bit better is when you're inside of this family thing, go inside of theme park. Uh, let's say that you go into design a new theme. Let's say that you just choose this one right here. Uh, one of the things I would mention is don't really play too much with the icons. When you play with the icons, you're going to change what they look like. So you are able to add different colored icons. If you want your icons to be a different color, uh, you can go inside of a tray. You can put different colors in the background back there. Uh, you can also change the label if you want your wording to be different. Um, but I'm going to keep that one black. Let's say you go to tray, you can turn that one off. So you can turn some of them on and off. But I would suggest not really playing with any of those. Keep all of the icons the way that they should be. Uh, and then you're going to be good to go. And then you can keep this one as a brand new theme. Um, but this is really just a quick video, an extra one on top of what was already shot, just because I already know people will ask how mine is set up. And also in future videos, they say, Jimmy, what theme are you using? Well, I'm going to take you right back to this video and how I set it up. Now, one thing to note, I do want to say this in this video, is that when you go inside of your Galaxy Essentials, if you try to find Theme Park or if you try to find Good Lock, this one is solely based on select countries. So if you're in a country that does not support Goodlock or Theme Park, download a VPN, 
make it show where it doesn't know where you are, put you in a different country, and then re-download the application after you restarted your phone. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.